Hey guys, KidGuru here today, and today I have a video on my computer, and yeah, just in general, my computer got questions on a lot of stuff like software, productivity software I use, you know, my theme, and all this crazy stuff, so I thought I should just all push it into one, showing you my desktop, stuff like that, breaking it down, just my computer in general, so a tour of my computer, in a sense. So, uh, this is my desktop, my compact, Presario. Uh, it's running on one gigs, one gig of RAM. I'm supposed to upgrade this two gig. I was supposed to upgrade it a long time ago, actually. Uh, it's right now. It's on the 80 gig Intel SSD uh, X25 uh, solid state drive. So yeah, this is a really speedy hard drive. Really great. And I switch over to this, and I have a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I don't, oh, what's the company? Is it? Oh, I forget the hard drive. But uh, I don't use it for backup. I use it for more just other files are on there, and if I ever have to switch between drives, I can dual boot into it. It's also running XP, but this one's running the SSD runs professional, and the other one runs Home Edition. And then I also have like an external plugged in. So those are my three main drives, and then uh, you know you have my laptop on the side, but that doesn't really count. So those are all the drives that are in the computer: the external 500, the 80 SSD, and the 160 just original you know hard drive that came standard with the computer. So um, that's where all my media and everything is split up, backups, etc. So let's get it out on the desktop. Now, if you guys haven't known my New Year's resolution, if you want to watch my past videos and get into a whole GTD spirit, the whole getting things done type of, uh, you know, attitude. So get organized and stuff like that. And um, so I want to show you what my Windows desktop looks like. As you can already see, these are all my icons. That's it, you know, actual physical icons. And even if I dragged over here to my dual monitor, all blank too, all just empty space. And you see, I like to change my wallpaper, you know, a lot. And a lot of people always ask me where I get my wallpapers. Debmianart.com, interfacelift.com, and I use Display Fusion to uh, set out the wallpapers. Okay, so um, recycling bin. I also have some custom icons, as you can see. This is my Kid Guru folder. This is my personal files. So if I was to click this, it opens up stuff like just random stuff I have in here. Uh, cool stuff, you know, just any other stuff I need to put in here, any important files. Two folder, now this is something to get organized. Now this is something I picked up, you know, this a lot of people have this, like their inbox folder in real life. Basically, I have loose icons that came from an installed application, uh, anything I just I recorded, and I don't have necessarily the time to go and put it in, you know, my music, my videos, whatever, I'm in a hurry, want to clean up my desktop or whatever, I drag whatever icon, drag it into the two folder, for example, there's just random, so basically it's your random folder, and I check this every end of the day or every, you know, end of the week, and see, oh, you know, this belongs in my videos, etc., etc. Now, this is just for stuff, you know, for the most part, I'll try and open up my videos and drag it in there, but sometimes, you know, you're a little lazy, you're a little, uh, you know, uh, whatever, you know, you just don't have the time for something, or you're in a hurry, and, you know, I've had a lot of situations like that, or I just want to clear the uh, desktop in general before I record a video, so I put it in the two folder. Now, a lot of GTDists, and that means getting things done, you know, purists, whatever. Some people, like David Allen, that's who's a you know huge organization guy, say that uh, you know they ditched the two folder thing just because they think that people, you know, if they're not going to organize it in the first place, they won't do it at all. But that's why I make it a necessity, you know, uh, make it uh, a goal to check it every weekend or every end of the day and I, I do for the most part and you know usually they'll have like way more files but for the most part I will go out and I will take you know like for example these two videos and go to my videos and just drag them in there so if you're gonna make a two folder you know just make sure you stick to it make sure you organize it every now and then so as you see again my icons are all customized uh, this is my documents you know obviously all my documents in there Downloads. Here's all the everything I downloaded. I have Firefox save all my videos that I download to this uh, folder right here, so everything stays organized. Kind of just like what Vista does by default. iPod music. This is just stuff from my iPod. So that's my desktop. And um, now I want to go on to my dock. Now I've already done what's what, what's in my dock video, so I'm just gonna go down here and show you exactly what's in there. So your Firefox, all my browsers. Stacklets and no, not stacklets. I guess you can just call them stacks. This is from a uh, an add-on called uh, for Rocket Doc called Rocket Doc Stacks, and you know just has some applications that I use. Uh, my Adobe um, Suite right there. My document stack just in case I ever have to access that, but I have the icon up there, so it doesn't matter. Um, and just some other stuff, settings like that. So that's really a huge help because I don't have to go in and make all these shortcuts on the desktop or go in here. Because for the most part, I really don't want it, the installation for a program asks, do you want shortcuts? I just say no because I'll just go into the program files and take the shortcut and put it into the dock. 
if I really do need it. Now, three, my taskbar. The theme I'm using is called uh, Ashen 2. This is Deviant Art. So it's very slim, as you can see. You get it in pink and blue. It comes with a couple versions. Um, I'm just going to scroll along here. Now, um, these are my icons. Usually, the only things I have running is AVG, Ultramon, which is, extends my taskbar. As you can see on my dual monitor, the taskbar runs along. Um, but yeah. So Ultramon is one of the softwares I use for the taskbar. Usually I don't have much stuff running in the taskbar, though. Um, now, start menu, the actual menu itself. Like I showed you earlier, if I drag over here and go to start, all my programs, not that big. You know, it's, as you see here, I organize in stuff like PIM, which stands for Personal Information Management, for like Microsoft Office, Evernote, Security. I have all my, you know, security applications in there. So, you know, just if you have time, Go through here and organize it. VoIP, Skype, Uvu, and you know, TeamSpeak, all that stuff. Video, all organized. So everything's organized so I know where everything is. I can get to it quickly. Now, on to miscellaneous productivity. Software I use, a lot of people always ask. Okay, so first off, to make all my cool icons, I go at Devi again, Devin Art and Interface Left have great icons. To apply them, you can manually do it or you can use something like Icon Packager. I've done a previous video on this. Alpha Clock, I actually spelled it wrong. It's A L F A does this little clock right here where it shows the actual day and the time in whatever standard format you want to do it in. Not only that, it says the time. You can say make it say the time every hour. And I'm actually going to play the time right now. Let's see if you can hear it. The time is 9.58 p.m. And it goes on just like that. So... That is Alpha Clock. That's one of the things I use just to you know keep track of time. Taskbar Shuffle. I'm actually going to go launch that really quick. And basically that allows you to shuffle around your taskbar applications that you know need be shuffled around. So Firefox, I can move that over here. Notepad, you know, whatever. If I have to open up another application like m or anything like my computer, oh, you know, I want that at the for you know, top just stuff like that. Stuff that Windows doesn't do out of the box. And I actually don't even think you could have seen that. So Sorry, again, let me show you Taskbar Shuffle. Just shuffles around the little applications here, and you can, you know, just move it around. It's very easy for organizing, especially if you have a lot of clutter in your Taskbar. Taskbar Shuffle is a great application. Okay, Ultramon. Uh, this is not free. Ultramon is, uh, you can get a trial, but you pay for it, and it goes, extends your Taskbar, so you can minimize windows to your dual monitor and stuff like that. So a combination of applications I use to keep my computer you know, all, you know, organized in general. So again, here's all my main folders. I use about five of them, along with the drives, and I already showed, I haven't actually showed you the drives, but uh, if you go into the My Computer thing here, and I use large icons, if you haven't noticed, increase the size. I just have my documents, my printers plugged in, and you see I have a lot of drives plugged in. Two drives here, drive here, a couple removable stuff, and, you know, just stuff like that. And two, or three actual drives there. One of them is actually a virtual CD drive. So yeah, as you see, a lot of stuff is plugged in, uh, and then in general, that's my computer, guys, so hope you enjoy this video. Uh, any other information you want to know, send it over to adrianstech at gmail.com. Hope you enjoyed this tour of my computer. Uh, if you want to make a video response, feel free to. Catch you later, guys. Don't forget, comment, rate, subscribe.